boys, it's Update Nine of the General League. <laughs> Just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. Beats all you never saw, been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Straightening the curve, flattening the hill. Someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will. Making their way the only way they know how. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. Just a good old boy. They wouldn't change if they could. Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood. Welcome to update nine. Um, yeah, a lot done. Uh, I apologise for all the noise. There's a numpty going around on a scrambler bike, making all that racket. But as you can see, uh, the base is pretty much well. It's finished basically. Uh, what we have are three switches down here. Uh, this switch is main power for the soundboard, momentary switch for the soundboard, and we've also got this one for our LED lighting. Everything's cool, everything's uh, pinned down. Uh, I'm just trying to clean off the mess that's inside it. But yeah, we run a, a lead from main power to the power switch, and then the switch to the voltage regulator, because it's a 3 volt. Uh, soundboard but this is actually drawing near enough 4 volts just to run the sounds so if we go ahead and activate it now it comes on so it, I don't know if the camera will pick it out I don't want to pick it up but it's 3.8 is the voltage that it's letting out so let's go for a second there I thought it wasn't going to start <laughs> so we've got the main theme tune So anyway, they play us the theme tune from the TV series. Oh, what the hell, we'll just listen to it. <laughs> I was going to skip it, but forget it. <laughs> And then our second sound bite. Hang on back there, Kelly. Uh, yeah. Get it, Bob. Ain't that pretty? I hang in there like that. Now y'all stick around, because we'll be getting on with it in a minute. And then, of course, this, which is extremely loud for some reason. It's louder than all the other sound bites. But uh, I put a plastic cup basically on top just to try and bounce that sound out because I've drilled it underneath so the sound comes out from the bottom. But we've got 12 volts going on there. Uh, what I'm using is a, an adapter that's uh, multi, you can basically choose the voltage you want to use. I think it goes from 3 volts to 12, but I just did it at 12 because I knew that these lights were coming on. It took me ages to figure this out because it, it, it worked, then it didn't work, then it, it, you know, it just messed up. But I drilled the hole for the switch, so I had to get it to work. <laughs> there was no way around that. I wasn't going to have a hole in the framework because it would just look a nasty. So, yeah, I'll just take the camera off, guys, and we'll be right back. You can take a look at my lovely wire in here, which is just a mess. But yeah, we've got our momentary wires there, all hooked up to this here. Um, but yeah, as far as wiring goes, it's a lot neater than I usually do. <laughs> 
But there you can see the board's actually drawing 3.8, or between 3.7 and 3.8, um, which is good. Uh, because any lower than that, and it just wouldn't play. But it's fairly loud, you know. So we've got that. But I definitely wanted Whale on Jennings on it. I just can't believe how loud that is. I think the neighbours will be complaining about it. I've literally listened to these tracks about a hundred times today because I just had to get it just right and it was playing a track then it was cutting off the track. Uh, in the end what I did is I just ramped up the voltage on here. So it's probably borderline now but it, it's okay. It's, it's uh, not overheating or anything like that which is great. Uh, the LEDs have worked out well. Uh, I had to cut about two segments out of this. Uh, because, it, like I said before, it just was not working at all. And to be honest, it's worked out pretty well because in that corner you've only got a slight gap. Where that the, that's the dirt mound, so you're not going to see that really. So it's been a, a while, because I've been on holiday for about a week, so I wasn't able to do any work. Um, I was working on the Fall Guy truck, but I'm still waiting for the decals to come for that, so I went to crack on with this again. But uh, this base now is ready to be screwed down. Uh, or as I like to say, glued and screwed. <laughs> um, it's going to be a bit of a pain trying to mask this off. Because obviously I need to screw this down. Then put my plaster over it and I don't want to get any nastiness. But um, before I do any of that what I'm going to do is uh, put some felt just in the groove here so when the glass is on it's not going to be making tons of noise if it flexes or anything which it shouldn't do because it's a sturdy thing is this um, <clears throat> and that's a good question because I'm not sure if I've actually got enough felt possibly uh, but yeah I'm going to glue some just down in here once that's done this is getting glued and screwed into position um, yeah Let's see what it sounds like with the bass on. Yeah, you see, it's quite loud. It's not bad, really, for a card, a sound card that's meant for birthday cards. Um. <coughs> Never get tired of that. <laughs> but yeah, that's the bass pretty much finished now apart from the dio which i'm looking forward to doing we had some really hot weather today but it took me like i think what was it yesterday it took me all morning to get the voltage just right for the soundboard to function properly um so yeah i sorted that and then of course working with these leds i ended up using magnet wire um Magna wire is okay, it's not under any strain or anything. Anytime you put it under strain or tension, there's a risk of it snapping <clears throat> or just pulling off the connections. Um, but yeah, they've been soldered on, and plus I hot glued them as well, so they shouldn't move anywhere. Uh, touch wood. No. But uh, yeah, uh, all the electronics are done. It's the fun part now of doing this. I'm not going to be able to glue the pole into position, so I've got it lined up where it is and it is strong there, it's not going to go anywhere. Once I've epoxied the corner down, that'll be fine. Um, and then I can start working with all this, get all the plaster on, take this pole out, get the general mounted to it, and then I can do all my uh, dust, and that, which is going to be a lot. Um, I can't remember if we did it in the last update or not, but uh, what I did was I mounted the general on and just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the side walls because it is like literally, where are we, here, it's literally here and it just fits in, <laughs> so it's going to look like it's jumping out at you, um, but yeah, really fun project. 
I think what I'm going to do now is bite the bullet and get the uh, the base screwed down and then I can mask all this off and then start plastering hopefully tomorrow because it's getting a bit late now um, but yeah really like it everything's worked out great um, Yeah, I must have listened to it about 150 times today. <laughs> You're probably bored of it already. <laughs> but you've got to test these things, you know, there's no point sealing it up and then finding out something doesn't work. <laughs> but it is a lot louder once the, uh, the top's on as well. And I think the sound quality is actually pretty good as well. It's nice and clear and crisp. In fact, you know what we'll do, guys? I think it's been a while. I might just go ahead and mount the general on as well. And we'll see how them lights interact with the car. We'll turn the main light off and hopefully it should look pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I'll just go off and I'll do that. So, there we go. The general flying high. Oh yeah, that's nice. Once the glass is on as well, the light should cascade upward. Um. Nice freeze frame. Mm -hmm. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm liking that a lot. I uh, can't wait to do the all the dust effects on there. Yeah. What does it look like? Oh, it does illuminate it quite a bit then. It's just it's just a bit too bright in here, that's all. Um, but yeah, I like it. I think uh, a nice pose. And camera doesn't go high enough. You can see just the side camera there. So it's just about at the point of apex of the jump. So. Well, I think the next segment now is uh, tomorrow I can crack on with the base. Um, yeah, the general looks really good there. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. So after the last segment, what happened was I screwed the um, dio into position and then the light stopped working which was a disaster <laughs> so what I've had to actually do if if I just uh, zoom you in here is just in the corner here what, what, what you get is these here where you can cut in the center of these so you can cut that section out and you've got a positive and negative and it's like a little copper plate now I don't know if it's the brand 
of strip tape that I'm using. I've never had an issue with LED tape until now. <laughs> but soldering these little copper points here, it just doesn't want to hold on. It, 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 it's really difficult to solder it because um, if I just pass you this one here. Uh, yeah, what I did before was I, I took some regular wire like this and I actually drilled them and I threaded the wire through twisted it round and then soldered it and it worked until I came to actually put in some uh, shrink tubing on and then obviously a wire must have been touching another wire and it shorted the system and it wouldn't work and so I had to cut three sections out, I've had to do the same now I've had to cut another three LEDs out which I'm not too fussed about because this is the back, this is where the dirt mound is you know, if anywhere else, then it might have been an issue. But with it here, I'm not. I'm not too bothered about that. But I've had to splice in a couple of wires because obviously they wouldn't reach. So we've done that. So hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll zoom you back out a second. Fingers crossed when I push the button because I haven't tested this yet. <laughs> hopefully, it still works. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. So. We're going to have to be really, really careful with this. Because uh, what I want to do is put some um, felt in the bottom so when the glass is on it's not going to make that nasty noise when you're moving it around. But at least it's working for now. So I'm going to go off, I'm going to screw on the top. I'm not going to glue it like I said, I'm just going to screw it on just in case anything untoward happens. Um, and then I need to get the felt down as well, and then we can mask this off. So today, because we're, we're, I think it's about eight o'clock in the morning at the moment, I want to get that all finalised, get it all masked, and then I can start plastering. And then it's got a full day to get drying. But yeah, a bit of a disaster yesterday. Hopefully that's fixed. I'm not going to play with them wires. I'm not even going to touch them. I'm just going to leave it well alone, and hopefully it'll be fine. So we'll be back as soon as I've got this thing screwed together. So, we've got everything masked off now, it's uh, been screwed down to the uh, framework and I'm about to start on plastering. So I've got my wall plaster, I'm just going to add some water to that, mix it up, do all the earth first and then concentrate on the water line and fill in all them gaps down here so it all blends in together. Once all that's dried then I can go ahead and that's it, add some sand and whatever to it. And come up with some way of creating some ripples or something uh, for the water effects because all this here will be resin, clear cast resin <clears throat> so yeah we'll be back as soon as I've got further progress so the plastering is now completed um, I'm hoping this actually looks like running water the, the problem, I don't know whether it's uh, the humidity or what but as I was applying the plaster, especially to the dirt mound it was literally drying as I was applying it so I, I wasn't able to sculpt anything so I just tried to put some quick lines in there just for dirt now I do have a little bulge here which is okay because there is a rock in the scene coming out so I might just transform that into a rock or something but yeah I mean it, it, it's dry it's ready to go already um, yeah, I think the best thing to do is probably use the uh, tissue paper next and start applying it to get some rid of some of these rough spots. And then I'm in two minds in whether or not to um, get myself uh, some Rust-Oleum sand and spray it on. I do have sand which I could dust onto it, um, which I might, actually, I might actually do with that and just use the Mod Podge to stick it all down. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much dry. It, well, it's damp, but it's solid. You know. But hopefully that looks like running water. Because I didn't have time to actually sculpt in any sort of waves or anything. Because, like I said, I mean, it, it pretty much dried instantly. I mean, you can see all light patches that are coming through now. That <laughs> So, hopefully that'll do. Because there's nothing I can do about it now, apart from scrapping the whole thing and starting again, which I definitely don't want to do. Um, but yeah, the dirt mound's done. I uh, took 
a half inch off the pipe as well so it's a, just a little bit lower but I mean to be honest you're not you're not really gonna see the difference really um, but yeah that's the plastering done that that was a lot quicker than I expected I'm gonna get leave it maybe a, an hour maybe two hours and then I'll start applying some tissue paper I think hopefully I've got enough toilet roll <laughs> So yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. Well, good news is, it's functioning. <laughs> so that's great. Looks like we've got some lens flares going on. We've got some JJ flares. <laughs> um, I don't know whether you better pick it out at the moment. But if we zoom in to our dirt mound. Oh, there we go. Uh, so... What I've got, um, I've sculpted in a rock <laughs> here. We've got one there, and we've got that one coming out there. Because uh, I no longer have the TV series on DVD, which it's my birthday on Monday, so hopefully I'll be getting that. Um, so I'm going off pictures, and I'm also going off that GIF that I uh, put on Facebook a while back. So I've marked out where the rocks are on the mound. So we've got that one there. And we have one, where is it, there. And one there. It also has quite a bit of greenery as well, which is good because it's going to break it up. Because I was a bit worried that it was just going to be a, a load of sand and nothing else. So we've got at least three rocks there that will be slightly different in tones. Um... <clears throat> We've got our little alcove in there as well, which is good because we've got some greenery, I think, just there and also there. And on the ramp itself, because, you know, they like to hide the ramp with a bush. <laughs> There's a couple of bushes just on top of the ramp there as well. And I might do some maybe a green flocking or something just at the side, but not too much. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to leave this now uh, a good... 24 hours to really dry up um, and set solid but if you notice on the bottom you can see all the light patches coming that's almost dry there's only a few that well a large area there that's still a bit damp but it is drying out which is great uh, once it is I think yeah the toilet paper I'll be using that and I'll probably will be just using regular sand I think um, well, cover it in paper, uh, toilet roll, and then uh, paint it brown, all of it in brown. Then I can add in my sand layers. Because once the resin hits the sand, it's going to look like wet sand anyway. And then hopefully by letting the resin nearly set up, I'm going to go around with a spoon, which is going to take forever. But if I go around with a spoon, I'll be able to create some ripples and the actual water itself so the, when, especially when this lights on it should cast a nice light on the water as well <clears throat> um, same with the dirt man that will all be covered in sand I think I might as well and I forgot to mention I did put uh, the felt down in here so it's, it's nice and soft now so when the glass goes on it's not going to make that nasty screeching noise uh, I won't play the soundboard again, I'm sure you're fed up of hearing that. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Um, so I think that'll do it for this update. Uh, it's only a quick one, I know. But uh, unless I decide to come back, who knows. Uh, so I'll catch you in a bit. 